All right, now that we've got ourselves our uh, surface here with our few little trees showing, I've gone back and reviewed this, and it looks like I don't like the way that the edge of pavement modified this down here. We're going to use that for break lines later on, so what I'd like to do is remove a point group from a surface. So here's our surface, existing ground. It's defined by just point groups. You can see the little icon on the side here. It shows that we have one or more in here. We have topo, swale, and edge of pavement. I like what swale did. Swale gave us this nice little crisp dip here at the top right of our surface. But edge of pavement, I don't like. It kind of bubbled things up down here a little more. So I'd like to take it out. So if we right click on edge of pavement, go to delete. We can, it's going to say it's going to take it out. That's fine. We have it to always put back in if we need to. Say OK. As soon as you say OK, now unlike adding it, as soon as we added it, it added it, as soon as we added it the first time, it bubbled things up right away. Now we notice that we have a little yellow symbol over here with an exclamation point in it. That exclamation point is letting us know that our surface is out of date. What it is showing us is not what it's being defined by. So here we can right click on it, rebuild that surface, and now our bottom cleans itself up a little bit to look more like it did with the original topo points. That's not bad. We're going to go back and use those edge of pavement points to draw a line to make break lines in a later video. Now that I've gotten that how I'd like it, what I would like to do is go back and label this a little bit, throw some labels on here so I can see what my elevations are because I've turned off my topo points. If I hover over the surface, it'll give me an idea of what that surface's elevation is at that point. And if I hover over a single line like that, it'll tell me more about it. The existing ground that I'm hovering over, the style that I'm using, and the fourth item will also tell me the elevation too. So that's kind of nice. But let's say I want to put some labels in there for printing. If I go up here to the annotate ribbon, um, the annotate ribbon contains the labeling in it. Labels and tables up here. There's This is a two-stage button. I'm going to use the top portion of it to get the labels, the add labels uh, menu. On this menu here, this menu, all the features and stuff read just like the drop-down would. I just like this because I think it's a little easier sometimes to look at. I'm going to drop this down. The feature I want to change, or feature I want to label, is the surface. The types of labels I want to put in are multiple contour labels. This thing will label major contours, minor contours, and any user contour that I create. Since I have no user contours, I'm not going to worry about what that says. But I do have majors and minors. I only want to label the majors. So let's go in here to the minors, turn that to none. And at that point, I'm good to go. I'm going to click the Add button. The Add button here pretty much says, if we read the command line down here, it says Specify First Point. This is going to work just like a polyline. I'm going to click a line across the top, over here, across these contours, down through these, across that one, down at the bottom, and make like an odd C pattern, kind of a, back, a mirrored C. You'll notice anywhere this line touches the surface, it's given it a nice label. Um, it's a pretty good label, except the label's annoyingly long. It goes to the hundredths place, and seeing as how it's labeling a nice even five, in, or a five interval, that is just too much. To change that, I'm going to go back over here to my little tool that I still have up. It says existing major labels. That's the one I've been using. Over here, there's an option to edit the current selection. I'm going to edit that. That brings up the label style composer for the major existing labels. You can go here and check the name, see who made it, when they made it. What I really am concerned about, not so much the general, the layout is looking the way, or the general is looking the way I want it to. It's the layout that I want to change. And in the layout, one of the components, in this case the only component, is the surface elevation. The text of the surface elevation contains something that I'd like to change. When I click in here, I get the little ellipse to pop up. This will take me one more step down the rabbit hole. Instead of trying to find anything over here to, to make my own one, I've already gotten, I've already got a surface elevation label built in here. If I highlight it, it'll populate the box on the left. I'm going to change the precision to 1, because I don't need it to be any places. Everything else is fine. I like the rest of it. While I've got this highlighted and got this changed, I need to push this arrow to, pop, to push the information into this. 
Now I can see that if you read this, you can see where it says unit feet, precision zero, rounding normal. So right now, my precision set one over here, but it's zero places over here. I want that, so I'm going to say OK. Now that I've got this change, I'm going to say OK again. And now that I've clicked OK, I see that existing major labels is still the same name. But the labels that are currently being displayed are now showing the, the changes that I just made. That looks the way I want it to. That's pretty good. I can close this box. I don't want to add any more labels to the drawing. All I want to do now is modify the way this label tool worked. So I'm going to click on the line that I, the, this here is an object that is interacting with the other object, causing the labels to be displayed. I do want to make a modification of this. So I'm going to right click on here, go to its properties. This is the standard AutoCAD properties, not contour label line properties, just regular properties. Click on that. With all the properties being displayed here, it shows me that I've clicked on a surface contour label group. The one thing I would like to sh turn off is this guy here, display contour label line. That's the white line in here. If I set it to false, it'll turn blue for me, letting me know that now when I unselect it, it will disappear. And I got my labels nicely shown. All right, so far so good. I got my trees, got my labels, got a surface. Now all I need to do is put it into a layout so that way I can print it out to show someone what I've got. Alright.